Hi, let's talk about safety in the hot shop, particularly as it relates to heat. The first thing is to always consider everything in this shop, particularly if it's metal, to be hot, hot enough to burn you. One thing to recognize is that things can get hot without ever touching the glass because of the radiant heat coming off the glass. Just like you walk outside and the sun hits you, you feel it, that's radiant heat. So if I'm working right here and I've got a blowpipe and it's got a bunch of glass on it, the radiant heat is gonna heat up anything metal around it. It's gonna heat up the bench itself. It's gonna heat up all these tools. So how do I know what I can touch without getting burnt? Really simple. I'm gonna not touch, I'm just gonna put my hand over the tool. I feel the radiant heat coming off of it if it's hot. If it feels okay, I double tap it real quick. That'll tell me and then I can pick it up. That's the appropriate procedure for picking up any of these tools. After a while you're gonna learn what part of the tool gets hot. Sometimes maybe this part, maybe I was shaping the glass and this gets hot. Well, what do I do if this is hot up here and I need to hold it up here and I don't want to burn myself. Well, simple. Every bench has a bucket of water behind it. I just take it, dip it in water briefly, pull it out, now I can touch it. I can do the same for any of these tools that get too hot. So that's radiant heat and metal tools. Now let's talk about studio etiquette as it involves moving hot glass around this space. Um, Whoever has molten glass and is moving it through the studio, that person really should only be paying attention to that molten glass. It's moving, they gotta keep it from dripping, they gotta keep it on center. If you're walking through a space, you need to let them know where you are. So instead of them having to pay attention to all this stuff other than the glass, which could mean that they take their eyes off and they drip glass somewhere, you should say, behind you, or coming through, or on your left, or whatever, very, very loudly, so that they know exactly where you are and they aren't startled. The last thing you want is to walk up behind someone, have them turn around and hit you with 2,000 degree glass that they just pulled out of the furnace. I have seen that happen, and it was the person's fault who walked up behind my professor at the time without saying, behind you. They wanted to see what he was doing, they didn't say behind you, and they got slapped in the shoulder with 2,000 degree glass. The other thing that comes to mind when moving around the studio is being really aware of the work zone. So I'm here, this is my bench, right? Over here is my reheating chamber, okay? And this is a sort of a sacred space right in here where I'm gonna be walking and reheating and sitting back down. There's not really a good reason to be walking through this space on either one of these benches, okay? You can walk behind quite easily and that will keep you out of the danger zone. Suppose you walk, I've got a piece of hot glass and you're walking through it, I turn around, I can hit you because I didn't see you. Especially if you don't say loudly, coming through. There's a few times where you might have to get something really quickly. You should always ask permission before you walk through this space here. Okay? Just be aware and just be respectful. Speaking of respect, and another safety thing is, don't mess with somebody else's bench. If you're assigned to bench number two, for example, that's where you work. You don't go and ever sit down on bench number one if another team is using it. Not even for a split second, okay? Um, and you do certainly don't take any tools off of somebody else's bench. If you need tools, there's a whole tool chest there. We have double of everything. You can just go get another tool from the tool chest. But that's a standard etiquette in any studio. You would never go and sit down on somebody else's bench, and you would never take some tools off of their bench to use, okay? So those are just some few etiquette things that will keep you safe and keep a studio moving smoothly. Thanks, see you soon.